Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the like under the video having watched it until the end if you think it is interesting, entertaining and maybe even a little bit useful. And uh, today we are going to talk about <coughs> the US dollar index and um, gold price. Starting with the US dollar, I want to point out that generally US dollar follows intermediate cycles that last for about half a year or so and it seems that the previous cycle has completed in a sort of the second half of September. So, so with that in mind we see that the current intermediate cycle in the US dollar has only been going on for about a couple of months since the second half of uh, September and um, th what that means is that this intermediate cycle still has quite a while to go to reach uh, let's say sort of its midpoint meaning that there still might be some potential within this intermediate cycle in the US dollar to kind of push a little bit higher maybe towards 98 in the US dollar index that might happen well over the next I don't know several weeks let's say but in the more immediate future in the shorter term I see dollar coming down a little bit cooling down a little uh, for a number of reasons first of all here's the 50-day moving average and we see that uh, dollar is uh, stretched a little a little too far above the 50-day moving average whenever it is stretched that high there's a tendency for the US dollar to cool off and come back closer to its 50-day moving average. Secondly, we see a negative divergence between the price itself, the DXY index and the RSI. RSI did not confirm the higher highs in the US dollar and that is a negative divergence, meaning that there might be a pullback down in the US dollar relatively soon. And lastly, it looks like since the beginning of this intermediate cycle in the US dollar, uh, the DXY index sort of has been following this channel, has recently tagged the top of that channel again. It might cool down, uh, returning at least towards the bottom of this channel or even a slightly lower towards the 50-day moving average. That might happen over the next, well, let's say a week or two. After dollar cools down, comes back closer to its 50-day moving average. As I said, I expect a continuation of the intermediate cycle. There's still some potential within the intermediate cycle to uh, go a little bit higher, probably anywhere between 98 and 99. And uh, later on, in the first quarter of 2019, a dollar will probably enter the declining phase of its intermediate cycle. So that would be the medium term forecast for the US dollar. And with that in mind, let's see what that might imply for the price of gold. Gold is, is breaking down. We see a whole week of downward momentum in gold. Uh, but I think it's ready to bottom within the short term, within its short term daily cycle. And uh, well, it might bottom some, somewhere on this trend line that it's been respecting since uh, mid-August. Mid and that gives us a price of gold of around 1200 that's also a round psychological number for, for the price of gold to bottom and then give us a bit of a bounce up within the short term that would be the beginning of its next daily cycle within uh, the longer intermediate cycle for gold but Remember, in the second half of December, we have the FOMC meeting where we expect a rise in the rates. And over the last couple of years, these sort of expectations have pressured a gold price down. And uh, for that reason, nowadays, I think that actually within this year, gold might not really have much of a chance to rally back up to 1300 after a bounce over the next couple of weeks or so as I said gold might be pressured to move somewhat down with this expectation of a Fed rate hike 
and uh, you know what that might give us another low in December these have been sort of popular in the last few years if we're going to see some sort of a major low in gold price around December or probably early next year uh, you know what that might actually mean that we're in for a relatively short intermediate cycle in gold which started in uh, mid-August and might end sometime in December that would give us an intermediate cycle of four months or so if it sort of bottoms sometime early next year in January that's that's a five month cycle that's uh, not out of the question especially after the previous cycle has been stretched a little bit too much the sentiment might balance out with a relatively shorter intermediate cycle within this current one and if that is about to happen if we are about to see a short intermediate cycle lasting for four to five months then um, actually we, we might see a relatively lower low in gold price because within the declining phase of an intermediate cycle the shorter term cycle the daily cycle should give us a lower low probably going down to 1180 slightly lower than that that would kind of give us some sort of basing pattern or consolidation pattern within this whole intermediate cycle where price just ranges between 1180 and 1240 or so and since periods of high volatility as we saw over here since April to August are replaced generally by periods of low volatility which are later replaced by periods of high volatility probably sometime into the Chinese New Year we might see golds above 1300 that might be the next intermediate cycle after the current one possibly bottoms sometime in December and that advancing phase of the next intermediate cycle in gold uh, sometime into the Chinese New Year would actually so Chinese New Year would be somewhere here on the chart so would, that would actually coincide well with the declining phase in the US dollar index so that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys today given that gold is sort of range bound within this intermediate cycle so far we might uh, well expect stronger moves sometime in the future when this intermediate cycle completes and uh, if a stronger move is classified as an advancing phase of the next intermediate cycle and that is likely to take place sometime during the Chinese New Year when uh, the US dollar will be due uh, for a decline in its intermediate cycle then um, we might actually expect a relatively short current intermediate cycle and if history repeats uh, we might have that uh, intermediate cycle bottoming sometime in the second half of December what what do you guys think about this outlook uh, of course it would have been nice to see uh, 1300 1310 within current intermediate cycle but the intermediate cycle has already lasted for about three months and given that they usually last for about half a year uh, the gold intermediate cycle might soon enter the sort of phase where price is expected to decline and again let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm quite curious about your expectations in terms of gold price and uh, have a nice day